talk to you today about the eMentor program. Now that's the way that no matter where you live, you can have an NHL goalie coach managing your game, growing your game from anywhere on the planet. What's all involved? Well anyways, goaltenders a lot of times get ignored during the season and you don't have access to quality coaching. Some of you do and if you do, excellent. But if you want NHL goalie coaching all year long, here's how it takes place. Number one, I watch all your game clips. We talk to you after the game to go over the cause and effect of the good, the bad, the ugly, puck handling touches, rebound management, how did you play the game. We stay on top of your game via video. Secondly, I make you do a lot of homework. You gotta watch NHL games for scoring chance clips. Cause, effect, intelligent reads, learning how to read the game, and there's homework that goes with that. And I grow your game so that you can understand the cognitive, mental side of the game, which is something you're gonna need if you're gonna play at a high level. We address your off-ice fitness. We manage your nutritional game so you eat like a pro. You have to eat well if you wanna play at a high level. We talk about consistent preparation, consistent results, and getting a peak performance out of you eight or nine games out of 10. That's something that's gonna help you play at the higher levels. I open up doors by leveraging my Rolodex for goalies that deserve it. You want to get on an all-team, USHL team, junior team in Ontario, draft in the OHL, and you deserve it, I can help that process along by functioning as a family advisor. And that's the final thing I think is very helpful to the parents and the e-mentor. I have a chance to talk to you 24-7 anytime you're having an issue with your kid's development, you need advice about pathway, process, all that stuff. E-mentor is not for everybody, it's a premium program, but it could be for you. All right. Today we want to work on the top 10 drills you can do with props. Now props are basically devices we bring on the ice to make practices hard so games are easy. Olivia is going to help us today. She's an outstanding goaltender with the, the Knights in uh, London. And the thing about props, they're invented basically by Mitch Korn. He's invented uh, basically deflection boards and screen boards. And prop training is something that can really help you. So we want to go through today 10 top drills that you can do with props to make yourself better. I want you to sort of be able to see her reflection in this. I want you to go down in your RVH and I want you to check by looking in the mirror here. So one thing we do is we want to use mirrors at times so we give you immediate feedback of what you're doing. We can see when you check your reflection in the mirror what your holes look like, if there's any room with the aerial angle above you. So using mirrors are great props you can do to help check your performance on the ice positionally, see if there's any holes, and give you a good visual of what the puck sees. All right, a second device we like to use is a peekaboo screen board. And basically this simulates a man in front. It's a static screen. And as a goaltender, we see this a lot in the game where there's people distracting us. And what we want to try to do is we want to stay lined up, centered on the, the angle, looking around and making head switches to try to find the puck. All right, let's watch how this works. You can just keep an eye on her. So basically, Try to search this puck out and find it wherever it goes. It can go under the board. It can go around the board. If you don't see it on one side, grab it and find it on the other side. Nicely done. Two more. Last one. Now there's a million different variations we can do, but the peekaboo screen board is uh, my invention from 30 years ago that I think is going to be a great way to help goaltenders improve their ability to find pucks through screens. All right, another drill that we like to use is the medicine ball, and this is a Mitch Korn invention. And basically the premise is having a goalie develop and refine their core strength by doing some crease movements, executing saves, maintaining balance while using the medicine ball. So what we're going to have you do, Olivia, is get into a deep crouch, and you're going to move forward to the top of the crease and backwards, forwards and backwards, holding that ball out in a strong position with a deep, wide base of support, deep stance. And then as I shoot it, I can shoot it when you're moving forward. I can shoot it when you're moving backwards. Try to maintain your balance. So you're going to be coming in and out. These are all going to be low shots. But I want you moving explosively, dynamically. Nice deep crouch. In and out quickly. Here we go. In and out quickly. Try to keep your balance. a girl. Nicely done. Keep working. This is a hard one. 
Put your butterfly down. Excellent. Three more. Two more. Excellent. Last one. Now, another variation we can do with the medicine ball is some lateral motion. So we're going to have you basically square up to me out in the slot, not like you would in a game, but you're going to go straight across from here to here, shuffling, and whenever I feel like I'm going to shoot it. So there might be a shot coming against the green or with the green, but now we've got to be able to make butterfly saves while moving laterally. So top of the crease, slide across, or sorry, shuffle across. Here we go. Get deep crouch, deep crouch. Nice. Three more. Good toe. Way to go, Olivia. Excellent. Last one. All right. All right, Olivia. Now we got the big screen board. This is a Mitch Korn invention. And the thing is, this hides the stick puck relationship. So when a puck is shot silently underneath this, you can't see the puck. You can't hear the puck until the very last second. So this really refines your foot eye coordination. Now there's probably 30, 40 drills we do off it with blind passes, um, backdoor passes. We don't see the pass, you don't see the shot. But suffice it to say, the two main ones that we love to do are getting you here at the top of the crease, deep stance, and just trying to react. As soon as you pick that puck up visually underneath that board with your lower peripheral vision, drive your butterfly, show me good stick discipline. So right here, I want you to react to these pucks as they come underneath there, okay? Last one. Now that's hard, isn't it? That's a tough one. So let's put your stick on top of the net. Now obviously in a game we want to have great stick discipline. We want to be able to use that to protect the five hole, but sometime we've got to be able to use our knees to drive to seal, just in case the stick doesn't help us. So same exact drill, but let's go without your stick now. Another little prop that I developed is the ramp board and that creates aerial tips where the puck will hit and then skip up on you and that happens a lot where there's a guy in front of the net ramping his stick up and you know what happens on tips and deflections, they go through you a lot of times. So our key goal here is to deny access. It's not going to be a precise save, likely going to cause a chaos rebound that you're going to have to battle with. So when we use the ramp board, let's focus on not letting the puck get through your armpits through your knees, through your stick. So in this one, I'm gonna have you set up here, top of the crease. Puck's gonna be humping in here, and it's gonna skip up on you. Now, it might be coming on a, an angle like this, where you wanna shift over and bring your belly button over, so you shift over and put your block into it. So let's see how you respond using our ramp board. Push into it, push into it, that's it. Three more. Excellent. Two more. Last one. Now another variation that we like to do off of this one. Now we're going to artificially put you really deep right back here in your butterfly. And you're going to be actively using your blocker and trapper. You're not going to be able to slide with this one. This is going to become pure hand-eye reaction. So this right here is a great drill to work on your hands.
two more. Last one. Excellent. So I invented net deflections 30 years ago. I didn't feel like hauling my nets around. That's why we end up coming with the deflection boards. And the net deflections are great because you can use them at any arena, just flip over a net. And there's lots of stuff you can do with a net if you're creative. One drill I love is hard passes out of the corner. where We can start up on our feet, drive to a butterfly and seal this. So let's work on some net deflections on hard passes to a low guy in front out of the corner. So Matt, you can grab the first five or six pucks from right there as an angle and then go on the opposite side of her for the next five. Great job, great push into it, great push into it. That a girl. And this drill shows you that you don't need to RVH on a guy over here. Because you can just play it traditionally up on your feet, get a nice push over on it. Okay, Maddie, go to the other side so you catch the other angle of it. All right, here we go. Same thing. Atta girl. Nice, three more. Two more. Awesome. Last one. Oh, excellent job. All right, this is my deflection board. On one side, it's a flat 90 degree side. The other has a 15 degree angle on it. And I developed this because I didn't like hauling my nets around. And I used to use the nets for net deflections, which we'll show you in a second here. But what we like to do is ramp pucks off of this. And again, a million variations you can do off of this. As a goalie coach, however creative you want to be, where you start the puck, where you put the board. But this simulates an aerial tip. Puck's going to come in. It's going to hit. And it's going to want to come in here 16, 18 inches. So on any type of a tip, some key solutions, recognizing the potential of the tip early so you know he's there, you don't challenge too much. Once the puck is tipped, you got to get over and try to smother it and project your glove. So let's see how you do on some aerial tips to the glove side. Back up one step, back up one step, right there is perfect. Great push into it, good job Olivia. Perfect, three more. Two more. Last one. Way to use your head. Let's do a set on the other side. And remember, the reason we do this with props is we want to make practice hard so games are easy. Same thing other side, Olivia. All right, here we go. Push that blocker forward. Three more. Nice. Two more. Last one. Excellent. All right. So unlike the static peekaboo screen, we're going to use a dynamic screen where we move this around in front of your face to make your job even tougher. And obviously in a game, this is not going to be the type of screens you get. You're not going to get screened this hard. So this will make games, fighting, finding pucks much easier. So let's take a look at how we use the karate bag in a dynamic screen. So our first variation, we've got pucks flat. You look around, find it, find it, find it. Drive your stick, drive your knees, drive your knees. That's it. Three more, two more, last one. All right, and we're gonna do the Sean Avery variation. Now obviously the guys bump you in the game and you gotta have emotional control where you don't get into it with the guy. So I'm gonna give you some bumps and bruises with this bag and I don't want you to let me distract you because in the game, you can't be hacking and whacking guys. They get paid too much money to stand there so you hacking and whacking them isn't gonna get them to stop doing it you still have to ignore them whacking you. 
So same thing, shooter's gonna slide this flat on the ice, but I'm gonna give you some business with this and no matter what I do, you find that puck. Here we go. Battle, 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 find it, find it. That's it. Two more, two more. Last one, last one. All right, great job on that one. You didn't even hack me, I love it. practice there's a lot of stuff we can do to make your life tough I love using the net to come up with some creative drills we can do as a prop to make your life difficult and we want to work on C cuts you're gonna put your blocker and trapper on there and I want you to fight my resistance by using C cuts skating like a goalie not like a forward so you try to push me to the blue line C cuts same thing back backwards let's go back backwards now you pull it C cuts All right, now we can also make that much harder. I was giving her a little bit of weight resistance, but now this time I'm gonna give her some snow plow resistance. Your life's gonna get much tougher. All right, stop. Let's go back backwards now. All right. Okay, I'm gonna turn this net around and I'm gonna face the short end at you. Now you're gonna go down, turn sideways, face that way, sorry. Put your pad on it like you're doing an RVH. The side, like the face of your pad right on it. Yeah, okay. And you're just gonna down push with your right skate. So you're gonna be pushing the net plus me. So now, another variation we can do is work on our down pushes and use the net as a sled, as some resistance. So let's push me, same thing, here we go. All right, you keep facing the same way, don't move. I'm gonna switch over this side. Same thing. Let's push me back, here we go. Come on, Olivia, fight, 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 fight. All right, and stay right there, let's finish. Put your hands down on the ice. And this isn't even a real drill, this is me just catching a rabbit in the net. Woo!